What's up everyone? Welcome to your 40 minute sleigh bell shoulders and arms workout. Grab a set of dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to our 40 minute shoulders and arms workout. Today we're gonna to be targeting your shoulders, your biceps, and your triceps in circuits of three exercises. We'll have 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, three rounds through every circuit, and I want you to push up into 85% of your max weights for things like shoulder press, bicep curls, tricep overhead extensions, all the way into the lighter weights like lateral raises, supinated bicep curls, and tricep kickbacks. So for me, in the heavier weights, that'll be somewhere between 20, 25, and 30 pounds for me. All the way down to those lighter exercises will be somewhere around 10 or 15 pounds. So pick weights that work for you in those two ranges at about 85% of your max. Since we're only working for 30 seconds, I want you to get a good six to eight reps in per working set with a good challenging weight. Grab your water, grab your sweat towel, and grab a bench. If you would like to do some of your skull crushers on a bench, you can also just do them on the ground. That's totally fine. All right, let's jump into the warm up. Are you ready? Two, one, cross your arms over, step it out. Good, reach your fingertips back. Very proud of you for showing up today. Thank you for giving yourself this time. Great job, stand here, backward circles. Keep reaching back and switch direction, forward circles, kind of cross in front of your body. Three, two, one, great job. Stop here in the middle, let's pull the fingertips back and under towards the elbow and switch. Good job. Stretching out the forearm a little bit since we'll be holding dumbbells for most of the workout today. Good job. Three, two, and one. Take your arm up overhead, grab onto the left arm, pull to the right. Great job. Release that hand, bend, and pull your elbow. Two more. Good, switch arms, take it up and over, pull. One more, and good job. Release the hand, bend the elbow, pull. Good job, three, two, and one, both hands up, palms together. You're gonna bend and reach your elbows back. There you go, bend and straighten. Just moving the elbows a little bit. That's it, open it up out to the side. Arms are here at 90, open and close. Bring your elbows in towards each other, four, three, Two, now we're gonna drop here. Open, close. Try to see if you're doing this a little bit too much. Okay, maybe shoulder mobility is something you need to work on. Flatten it out. Open, twist, twist. Great job. 18 seconds and we're gonna start with an Arnold press. So, weights are right here in front of your face. Palms face you. Open, push, come back around. Seven seconds. 30 seconds of work, and let's go. Fifteen. A little bend in the knees. Three, rest, good, 15 seconds. We're going hammer curls now. Same thing, a little bend in the knee, shoulders are neutral, going right here. Potentially the same weight. Three, two, let's go.
15. And we're gonna get the heavy three up front here. One tricep, one bicep, and one shoulder. Two more. Rest, good job. And then we have tricep overhead extension. You can use one dumbbell, probably preferable for most, peop most people to just use one. All right, take the hands up. Three, two, let's go. Good job, 15. Rest, beautiful job. And you've got two more rounds of that same circuit, starting back with Arnold Press in 10. Let's go, keep rocking. Three, two, one. Fifteen. Rest. Good. Hammer curls. Make sure your palms are neutral here. Elbows are staying here so they don't flare out to get the dumbbell moving. And make sure they don't scoop forward to do the work for you. Hammer curls, let's go. Good job, focus on that squeeze. Seven. Two. And rest, all right. Overhead extension, round number two. Heavier if you're able, good reps above everything. Ready, two, one. Nice job, keep the strength in mind. But keep that dumbbell moving. Last 15. Good. Three, two. All right. Come on. Last round through. I want you to try and go a little quicker with the weights that you were using last round. So less rest at the top on the shoulder press. Here we go. Shake it out. Three. Two, one, come on. Push, 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 come on. Don't slow down. Eight, seven. One more. Rest, great job. Big squeeze in the biceps here for your hammer curls. These are your heavier curls, but I do want you to feel that squeeze like you're trying to crush something right here. Let's go. Last one. Oh, rest. Overhead extension to close out circuit one. Dumbbells up. Two, one, come on.
15. Nine, eight, come on. Two, one, oh, rest. Oh, great job. We're gonna go 30 seconds rest, so you've got about 25, and we'll start back single arm. Three exercises in a row, starting off with the left. Single arm press, single arm curl, and then a lighter weight, single arm kick back. 12 seconds. If you wanna go seated, feel free. All right, here we go. Four, and you can go kneeling here as well if you'd like. Two, one, press. The kneeling position just kinda of helps keep your core engaged. Helps you avoid kinda of stepping side to side. Nine, eight. Oh. One more, three, two, rest. Whew. Good work. Now, same arm, we've got a curl. Regular supinated open palm curl. So probably one dumbbell lighter than that one. Ready? Right here, two, one. Ten. Two, one, good, and probably one dumbbell lighter than that. Tricep kickbacks, let's go. Five seconds. Two, one, let's get it. Just an option for you here for your tricep kickbacks. If you kind of find yourself going here a lot, put your arm on a bench, exhale, flatten your core. Keep that elbow right beside your hips. 12. Two, one. All right, let's switch it over. Right arm, your turn. We start with the shoulder press, okay? And I've got my working arm on the side opposite from my up leg. Two, one. Fifteen. Last one, two, one, ah, rest. Okay, over to the bicep curl. Probably one weight lighter, but you know your strength. You know if you need to stay here, if you need to go up, push yourself. Those last couple reps should be ugh, everything you've got. Let's go. If you're getting to the last set or the last rep in your 30 second work period and you're like, okay, wasn't that hard. You gotta step up that weight, or less rest in between your uh, reps. Or a harder squeeze every rep. <sighs> Three, two, great work. Kickbacks with your tricep. And remember, you can always use your bench to stabilize for any pull or push movement, okay? If you're in a hinged standing position. Let's go. Good, back muscles turned on. Four, two, 
One, all right. Last round, we're going 30, 30 of everything. So left, right for 30, then rest. Okay, left, right, then rest. So we start with shoulder press. Ready? Two, one, back to the first arm. 30 here, 30 on the other arm, then we rest for 15. Five seconds and you switch. Next rep is your last one. Two, one, bring it down, switch, keep going for 30. Twelve. Two more, three, two, one, 15 seconds rest. Single arm curl, just the right arm, or sorry, just the left arm for 30 and then we'll switch to the other arm. Two, one. Eight seconds. Last one. And switch. Good, 15. Six, three, two, rest for 15, and tricep kickbacks, 30 and 30. Three, two, one, let's go. Start with the arm that you started the whole circuit with here. Good. Think about pulling a cable away from something attached right in front of your head. Five seconds and you switch. Three, two, one. Good. Other side. Let's go. Great work. Come on, we're pushing hard. Push with me. Nine. Four. Last one. Two, one, and rest. Shake your arms out. Whew. We've got a 30 second rest and we're moving into a total shoulder circuit. Okay, front raise, side raise, and then hinged face pulls. Okay, front raise right here. 30 seconds, so we'll go both arms together. Side raise is right here. Your hinged face pull. Hands are facing here. You're gonna come up high elbows. Okay, you don't need to pull back. Just pull up. Front raises are first. Two, one, let's rock. Fifteen. Great job, we're hitting the anterior deltoid here so that muscle, part of your shoulder group in the front. Let's go, two more. Three, two, one, rest. Next one, side raises. A little bend in the elbow, okay, right here. Leading with the wrist and the elbow. Ready, five, two, one. 
shovel out and away and up. This is the lateral deltoid. So kind of what gives you that rounded shoulder appearance. Two, one, same weight or lighter. You're gonna hinge. So hips are back, back is flat. Driving your elbow and your pinky here and back down. You're just gonna come right here. Don't involve your back too much and open your chest up. Okay, rear delt fly. Let's go. Good. Think about pulling the dumbbells right across like you're opening over your face in this hinged position. Okay, think of a face pull. Open right around your face. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, and we're back to the front raise. That rear delt fly is a tough one. It should just feel right here. Okay, front raise, we're back to the top. Three, two, let's go. Good work on these shoulders. Last 10, actually 11, now 10. Two, one, rest. Great job, side raise. You're doing fantastic. Three. Let's go. Twelve. One more. Three, two, rest. Oh, all right. Back to our hinge. Rear delt flies. Okay, keeping it right here. If I'm hinged, I'm thinking about pulling right outside my face. Okay, just involve the shoulder. Two, one, let's go. And if it would help you, let's do one at a time. Okay, just think high elbow. Don't worry about the back muscles. They will be used, but I'm trying to mainly work the delt here. Four, two, one. Oh, okay, last round. Sorry about the workout noises. Hopefully you feel free to make yours as well. Exhale big time, anytime you need to. Last round, are you ready? Front raise, if you can go up and wait, let's do it. Keep this intensity, let's go. If anything, try to rest less at the bottom. Almost at the bottom pull. Keep your core tight so you're not here. A little bend in the knee, uh, lift. Seven. One more, two. Rest, lateral raises, great job. Bend the knees, lock the core in. Make sure your elbows or your shoulders aren't rounded forward. Let's go, three, two. Wrist and elbow, nice and high. Great work, come on. Keep coming back for your time at the time. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I know I'll never leave you behind. One more three, two, 
Rest. Great job. Alternate the rear fly if you need to. And by the way, if you get a little bit of back muscle involvement, it's not bad, okay? It's something this rear delt fly takes a little bit of mind muscle connection. We wanna think of this right here. Two, one, let's go. Seven. Two. And rest. Great work, everyone. Grab water. We're done with the shoulder circuit. We're moving on to the biceps. Supinated curls. It's gonna open it up, palm facing forward. Right here, we're gonna alternate and keep the tempo high. So when one arm is halfway down, we start the other one so it looks more like this. Okay. We'll go in 15 seconds. Your second exercise is a simulated preacher curl. If you have something to sit on, putting your elbows right at your knee to control, okay? If not, you're just gonna give me a hinged curl. Let's start off with those supinated curls. In three, two, one, here we go. Thought I had the other 15. <laughs> that was a 20. Good, 10 more seconds. And if you started a couple seconds late with me, just do one more each arm. Apologies about that. Four. Three, two, I'm gonna do one more each arm. You can rest, good. Now, the preacher curls, potentially a lighter weight. If you don't have your seated position prop, you can just go hinged curls. Three, two, one, let's go. And on these, try not to open it all the way up to the bottom. Four, three, two, one, rest. Hammer curl to a cross body. Okay, neutral grip, you start here. You're gonna curl up, drive over to the opposite chest muscle. Okay, we go in four. <sighs> two, one, let's rock. Good work, keep that elbow pinned right in the front as you curl. Four. Two. And rest, and we're back to regular supinated curls. Try to keep that tempo, okay? Here, here. Let's go, four, three, two, Nice work. Breathe. 15. Fight for it. Three, two, one. Great job. Kneeling, or sorry, hinged or knee supported preacher curls. Ready, four. Three, two, and we're off. These require a lot of control, so if they feel a little bit heavier, go a little lighter, it makes sense. No momentum. 15. Seven. Two, 
Oh, rest. <sighs> Great job, cross the body. And as you do these cross bodies, you can have your elbow come forward just a bit and think of pinning it right here. Okay, and then release it back. Two, one. Nice work. Three, two, one more, and rest. You got one more round through all three of those, and then we move on, okay? Supinated, quick moving. Are you ready? Two, one. Last bit of biceps, come on. Fifteen. Oh. Eight, seven. Last one. Rest, beautiful job. But if you don't have somewhere to do your knee supported preacher curls, I'm gonna do just the hinged version with you here. Okay, it's just making sure that you take any momentum out. So we're here, okay? Ready, let's rock. Strong back, come on. Keep your shoulder blades back there. The burn is real, huh? I get it. I'm with you. Nine. Two, one. All right. Last one. Hammer curl to cross body. Three, two, one. Come on. Last 15. Three, two, one. Breathe. 30 seconds to rest and we're closing it out with a big tricep set. Three exercises for your triceps. We start off with skull crushers, either laying here on the bench or on the floor. Okay, and taking it overhead. Then we go into either dips on the bench or on your dumbbells. You have two dumbbells on the ground, taking your elbows back behind you, and then tricep kickbacks. Let's start off with your skull crushers. Three, two, one, come on. Ten. Two, one, good job. On the bench or on your two dumbbells. Dips, let's go, come on. If you're on the floor, just remember, elbows go back behind you. Three, two, Fifteen. Three, two, one. All right. Whew. Light dumbbells, tricep kickbacks, both arms together. Three, 
two, let's go. Good job, 15. Six. Two, one, great work. 15 and we're back to Skull Crushers. Whew. A little heavier if you can, you know if you're there. Three, two, Let's go. Fifteen. Two more. Rest. Come on down for your dips. Come on, push hard. I'm with you. Two, one, let's go. Last 10. Two, rest. All right, kickbacks, come on up. I know you've got this. I know your arms are burning. Everything's a little warmer right now. Come on, two, one. Imagine you're pulling something straight ahead. It's anchored on your wall, straight across from your head, and you're pulling it to get it wide outside of your body behind you. Eight. Last one. Beautiful job. Last round of all three, come on. Let's close out this workout. Big, you know how to work hard. I need you to go there. That's why you showed up today, to get everything you can out of this time. Let's go, Skull Crushers, round three. Push, push, push. Last 15, don't rest. Keep that muscle under tension. Let's go. Come on, end of the workout mindset. You give it all you've got. Two, one, let's go. Push away, nine, eight. Rest. Oh. Come on up, 15 seconds, you've got kickbacks, and we've made it. That is it. Four, come on, me and you. Three, two, drive it back. Come on. Pinkies to the sky, five, two more together. Ready, four, three, one more, two, 
One, and breathe. <sighs> and you've made it to your cool down. <sighs> Roll it up nice and slow. Shake your hands out, relax your wrists before you head out. Cool down with me for just a second. Arms up, let's get a little bit of blood coming back into the rest of our body. Roll your wrists up top. Great work today, you did it. Upper body workout done. Let's cross it over in terms of arm definition. Those are my three favorite muscle groups to work. When you work the chest and the back, which we didn't do too much of today, you will get all these muscles involved that we just used, but sometimes it's fun to have a workout where you just kind of program isolation, like shoulders at one time, biceps at one time, triceps all at one time, and just those three in a workout, I feel like gives you a really good pump. So anytime you're looking for a good pump, don't forget this workout. Should have been in the place where you had lots of blood flow. If you touch your arms, probably are warm to the touch right now. That's great. Pull your fingertips back and under, making these muscles work and breaking down the fibers of the muscle is how they get stronger and how they grow in size. So a hypertrophic effect or a pure strength effect, excuse me, comes from knowing that you're working your hardest, causing your muscle injury, and then eating in a way, recovering in a way that you can give your muscle time to grow and repair. But it has to have a need to adapt meaning you have to be working hard enough to cause these little micro tears in your muscle, open and cross. Reach your fingertips back. Okay, if you're just going through the motions and those last five seconds of every rep are just kind of like, boop, boop. Okay, what's next, Sydney? You can go harder. Unless it's just that I need to move for my mental health kind of day, and that's totally fine as well. We all have those days. We have those days where you just feel like showing up and moving. You're like, you know what? Today, I'm just struggling to kind of get through and I'm proud of myself for moving. That's okay to have those every once in a while. All right, but if you have a goal for any type of muscle growth, strength growth, making sure that your arms feel nice and defined and toned has to come from really getting into the progressive overload aspect of working a little bit harder each round. Doesn't mean heavier dumbbells, it just means each round you work a little harder to actually make it to that ending of your 30 seconds or your 45 seconds. Okay, amazing work today. As you draw your hands, face your palms down to the floor and drop your ear from side to side. And I just want you to note today, if you're holding any tension up top here, which is very likely, if you are stressed, tired, working at a desk job, driving a lot, texting a lot, switch sides. Notice if this is really tight here. And if you're also getting headaches, if you're also getting cramps in the back of your upper back, if you're waking up with a stiff neck. Okay, notice if your neck, your traps are tight, keep moving, all right? Every hour throughout the day, or every 30 minutes if you can, get up, twist your body, transverse plane, frontal plane, oh sorry, frontal plane, and then sagittal plane. Just making sure that you're opening up your hips and your back, and staying true to the movement goal that we have for our healthy, strong bodies, okay? I love you so much. Very proud of you for being here today. I'll see you for our next workout. I love you, and before you head out, comment below what was the most surprising strength that you found in your workout today. Like, okay, I could actually do that with a weight that I'm proud of. I wanna know, comment on yourself, brag on yourself, and I'll see you for our next workout.